Fraser's Grove is one of those neighborhoods that people always mention with a smile. Nestled in between Henderson and a bend in the Red River, people who make the great choice to live here enjoy a quiet, park-like environment, yet are extremely connected to the rest of the city. Today I'm going to show you an amazing, well-kept home that offers a unique opportunity. But first, I want to talk about the neighborhood some more. Regardless of what grade your kids are in, they can walk to school. I counted at least eight schools across all levels within walking distance. You've also got a Freshco, a Sobeys, and Bronx Park Community Center practically at your doorstep. A short walk in the other direction will take you to beautiful Caldonan Drive, and of course, Fraser's Grove Park, which is still buried unfortunately, but it won't always be this way. You'll love relaxing here come summer. My name is Dino, I'm with the Nolan Group of Realtors, and I'd like to invite you and your family 184 Oakview Avenue. This four bedroom home is beautiful. We're on a corner lot, steps away from Henderson and all its amenities. The stucco was done last year, along with about half the windows. The shingles, flashing, and drip edge are only six or seven years old. This is one of those homes you just feel great walking into. We have this fantastic mudroom area here, so there's room for your shoes, jackets, and everything. And this probably used to be a porch at one point, but now it's actually a bedroom. So you do have a closet over here. And there's actually something very interesting behind this box, but we're gonna talk about that later. We have a spacious, open living and dining room that's just loaded with character. The fireplace was decommissioned a long time ago, and now we have this electric one in its place. Nice and safe, but still nice and warm. Coming through this awesome barn door, we have two more bedrooms. We have this one here, kind of facing the front. And of course, a four-piece bath on our right. And then I would consider this the primary, as it is a little bit bigger. It's got a lot of stuff in it, but it's, it's actually huge. And here, you have a nice view of the back. And you got this huge deck back there. The deck is huge! I mean, look at it! So coming into the basement, the first thing I want to show you is this bonus room. Can't call it a bedroom because the window's not big enough, but it's uh, it can be whatever you want it to be. Now this window is big enough, so this is another bedroom. This is the fourth room. Now you'll notice the floor here is raised, and uh, that's because they used to have an old coal furnace, and I guess when they when they switched that out, the floor was all torn up, and they just opted to build a platform instead of redoing the floor. Sure. Now coming this way, we have some more storage. So in the utility room, you have some more storage. And then of course, the hot water tank and the furnace. The hot water tank, furnace, and the AC were all done about 12, 13 years ago. And we actually have a ultraviolet air purification system as well. So that'll kill bacteria and viruses too. And then here, we actually have a second kitchen setup. All you're missing is a 220 volt plug for the stove, and you're good to go. And then here, we've got laundry and a second full bathroom. So the laundry room is downstairs, but in this box here, you, have, you actually have laundry hookup as well. So if you wanted to, you could convert this into a laundry room and have main floor laundry, or you could actually create very easily two separate living spaces. This home has been in this family for 65 years. They've taken really good care of it, they've kept up with all the upgrades, and I'm sure they've done a lot of different things with it over the years. So whatever you do with it is up to you, but I'm pretty sure that whoever buys this home is going to be happy.